Welcome back. We're continuing our discussion of living in the city versus the suburbs. For tonight's Unfiltered, I speak with real estate broker and former Colts linebacker Gary Brackett about the benefits of living outside the city. Gary, thanks so much for, for joining us. You know, before we even get started, our viewers are probably going to be what is the same Gary Brackett from the Colts. Yes, it is. And uh, you're having a very successful career now in real estate. How's that going? Uh, it's going great. You know, uh, I've always been a lifelong fan of real estate. I've always invested in real estate. At one point, I had 15 rental properties. Uh, now, acting as a realtor, working with investors and families, you know, tackling their real estate needs is my yeah. slogan. So one of the questions that we had for you, and we, we talked with um, another realtor last week about it, um, the, the difference is the pros and cons of living in the city versus the suburbs. Now, she was, she was very pro-city. Uh, how do you feel? Yeah, I think um, it's really the best of both worlds, right? We have a great downtown Indianapolis, uh, but my preference is definitely the suburbs. I've been now a native of Indiana for over 20 years. Uh, I've always stayed in the suburbs. And when you look at what they've done in the Carmels, the Zionsville, the Fishers, I mean, a lot of the things that you can see and get and experience in downtown Indianapolis, you know, a lot of these towns have made it their own downtown with the restaurants and things like that that you could get now in the suburbs. And we also live in an area that's not too traffic congested. So it's easy to get to downtown when you want to go downtown. Another conversation that came up was, you know, she brought up the fact that people would move out to the suburbs back in the day for the schools, but the schools are getting better here in the city. Um, so does that play a role when you're talking to potential customers or customers that you're working with? Uh, absolutely. I mean, that's one of the top three things that come up is school systems, how well the school systems. Uh, one thing she mentioned was, you know, downtown Indianapolis, depending on where you are, there are a lot of charter school options and private school options. All those things, though, you have to pay for. And uh, unfortunately, when you're in the suburbs, depending on the community you are, you know, a part of your taxes actually goes to those school systems. So you have very good public schools where you don't have to pay that cost to be downtown looking at a charter school option. Gary. Tell our uh, viewers, if you can, I think you and I came to the city right around the same time. So if you can dive into how much the city has grown and changed over the years or just central Indiana in general. Hey, oh, my God. I mean, you look at, you know, some of the tech boom with the sales force and some of the uh, successful Zach targets, uh, some of those acquisitions that came into town. Um, obviously, downtown has continued to build with apartments uh, that are continuing to come online. Um, ND11 is going to be a fantastic uh, project that's really going to transform downtown. Uh, but when you move into the city and what they did on Meridian Street and with that, now you can get to Westville in 30 minutes. Uh, it, I have kids, so I'm at Grand Park all the time. Yeah. I mean, it's a beautiful facility. Uh, Karma itself, uh, you look at what they did in their main uh, street in their downtown area. So uh, a lot of these things didn't exist, you know, 20 years ago. Uh, and you had to go downtown if you wanted to go experience a nice restaurant. Now, you know, you look at any of these surrounding communities, they all have downtown that have successful, thriving restaurants. When you talk to clients, what is their first or, or even second um, concern? I think um, school systems is number one, especially yeah. if uh, they have a family. I think number two uh, is, is going to be probably uh, safety, security. Uh, they want to make sure they're in something that feels like a community. Um, you know, a lot of times you go inside of like one of those communities with HOAs uh, and they have, you know, several different uh, protections, neighborhood watches, things like that that really come into play. Um, and also like noise reduction. You know, uh, anymore, <laughs> me personally, I don't want to hear the neighbors arguing next door, right? I don't want to hear the ambulance going off mm -hmm. down the street. I prefer my peace and quiet. So that's why I'm an, I'm a suburban guy yeah. and, and I love my quiet out here. I'm a guy that grew up in Queens, New York, so I feel the same oh. exact way. However, my uh, my chief meteorologist, Ashley Brown, she's born and raised in, in downtown and just outside of downtown Indianapolis. She loves it. She loves the, you know, the, the hustle and bustle, um, I guess, to each their own. You, you mentioned something about... Um, if, if people have kids, what happens if, if you work with clients that maybe don't have a, a growing family? Because I'm starting to see more, you know, singles or, or newly married even move out to the suburbs because there seems to be options for them as well. Yeah, no, no questions. I think um, there's a lot of new construction going on. I think inventory is still tight. Um, so that's why you've got to deal with a realtor that kind of has some inside information about what's coming available and what's not coming available. So uh, I think even if they're newly well couples, they're typically uh, thinking about having a family. And, you know, if they're going to be in a house and they want to sit in there for four or five years and obtain some equity in that house, you know, they're going to consider a suburbs where they're not going to have to move when they have the kids because price per square foot 
they could probably get a lot bigger house out here in the suburbs than they'd be, be able to afford downtown. Gary Brackett, always good to see you, man. Thank you so much for coming on with us. Hey, thanks for having me. All right. Now, you've heard both sides, right? You can continue the discussion online, scan the QR code on your screen. That will take you to an email where you can tell us about your experiences of living in the city, of the suburbs. Uh, you can also go to the unfiltered section of wishtv.com where you'll find a web version of tonight's interview. And there also is a viewer poll that we would love for you to take part in.